Hello friends, this video on statistics part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com, no more fear from exam. Okay, now let's suppose that you have scores of thousands of students. In that case, it is difficult to maintain the table, even if you maintain in the order of the score. It will have thousands of rows. It is very time consuming to create such table. Now also we know that same students can have, the same score can be uh, obtained by multiple students. Okay. So the presentation of data in the ascending order in this case will be time consuming, especially when the number of observations in the particular experiment is very, very high. So in this case, so we have 30 students and we get the score of 30 students in the ascending order. And if you see 30 itself is a high number, we are not able to see it properly. So if it is, let's suppose 3000, 1000, it's difficult to understand, right, to analyze the data. And here name of the student is not much mandatory here because we are looking for to what is the highest number or the lowest number, we are not worried about who got the highest. So in that case, we can just ignore this data. And we can use score and frequency. I'll show you how. For example, 10 score is only once, frequency is 1. Score 20 is twice, frequency is 2. 36 is 3, 9, so frequency is 3. Number of occurrence is called frequency. 40 is 4 times. Frequency is 4, 50 is again 3 times, frequency is 3, 56 is 2 times, frequency is 2, 60 is 4 times, frequency is 4, 70 is 4 times, frequency is 4, 72 is 1, 80 is again 1, 88 is 2 times, then 92 is 3 times, and then 95 is 1 time. So, well, I can say total. So, if you add all the frequency 2 plus 1, 3, 6, 10, 13, 15, 19, 23, 24, 25. 3, 6, 10, 13, 15, 19, 23, 24, 25, it's 31. Like this is a mistake, there were 30 students. So 20 is 1. So it is 30. Okay. So if you see, if you add the frequency, you got the number of students. And this is called ungrouped frequency distribution table or simply frequency distribution table. So it is called frequency distribution table because we have we have implemented or a, introduced a new term called frequency. And with this, if you see, it is a little easier. Even if you have three thousand information now, and they'll be in the same range, so these numbers will increase maybe. So frequency one will may become ten. This may become seven or eight, but the number of items will not increase so much. At the max, it can have 100 uh, what they call items, hundreds, because the student may get score from 1 to 100. Typically, 1 is not the score they get. They get maybe the minimum score is, let's suppose, uh, 40, and the maximum score is 95. So, maximum you will have 95 minus 40 is 55 such rows. And this will be true even if we have 1 lakh data. Okay. So even if you are, let's suppose, finding the score of all the students in your school and your, let's suppose, school has uh, 50,000 students. Assuming your school is very big. So if you create something like this, you'll have 50,000 rows. If you create something like this, if the maximum is 95, minimum is 40, you'll have only 55. So that is the difference of so 55,000, 50,000 to 55. So with this, it helps a lot. So you don't realize it now, but if you have huge number of data, this frequency table helps a lot, right? So this is case of ungrouped frequency table because the score is not grouped, right? So now let's understand the group frequency table. So let's suppose you have one lakh data, huge amount of data. Okay, then what do you do? So 
typically you are not happy with so in the earlier example if i show the show that the maximum score is 95 minimum is let's suppose uh, 35 what you get is 60 60 rows here you don't want 60 rows you want even lesser what can you so that means you can create groups for the score right to make it more human readable you can create more groups for the for example, you can say the group is, in this case, you can say that 35, 35 to 45 is one group, right? 45 to 55 is one group, 55 to 65 is one group. So any any score that is in this group can put in one. So in that case, you are minimizing the number of rows. To represent very, very large amount of data, we generally use this, we condense this into groups. We condense the score into groups and these groups are called classes please note these groups are called classes or class intervals also and their size is called class size for example 45 minus 35 is 10 so the class size is 10 so we have new term for classes class size and or class width those are same and we also have a lower limit, upper limit. For example, in this case, this is a lower limit, this is the upper limit. So let me write one example. Okay, so in this case, we'll create the classes. So let's see what is the lowest number in this whole score. And the lowest number I could get is 23. Anything below 23? No, we don't have. What is the highest number you could see here? 88, 95, 96, 98. Okay. So we can start our class interval from let's suppose 20 to 29 is one class interval. And the next can be 30 to 39, stuff like that. So let me write here. So 20 to 29 is one class interval. 30 to 39 is one. 40 to 49 is one. 50 to 59 is one. 60 to 69 is one. 60, 70 to 79 is one. 80 to 89 is one. 90 to 99 is one. So we can write this kind of class intervals. Okay. So if you see in these class intervals, this is called lower class limit lower class limit and this is called upper class limit so for a class 20 to 29 the lower class limit is 20 upper is 29 similarly for class 30 to 39 the lower class limit is 30 upper is 39 the class size is 29 minus 20 that is 9 Okay, the least number is called the lower class limit and the greatest number is called the upper class limit for a given class. Okay. Sorry, the class size will be you have to add one. We will we'll show the issue in this distribution actually. Here, if you notice, the data is non overlapping. This is ending 29 and starts at 30. It's not overlapping. And there is an issue with this. So, we will we'll discuss that. But even we can represent in this fashion. So in this case, if it is non-overlapping, you don't find a class size, you have to add one. So class size will be 29 minus 20 plus 1 is equal to 10. For non-overlapping class. But there is an issue with this kind of class, and we will show you how. But before that, let's complete this. Okay. And the class size which I have taken from 20 to 29, there is no fixed limit. You could have taken 20 to 24 and then 25 to 29 as well. Right? So it's all our uh, I mean, call, it's our, our call. Actually. We have to decide what is the class size we have to take. Okay? There is no such rule which says that this has to be class size. We can make it shorter, we can make it bigger, uh, we can do whatever we want. Right? We can even take 21 to 25, 26 to 30. Okay? So there is no hard and fast rule except that 
in this case, if you see, the class is not overlapping because it is a non-overlap scenario we have taken and I will tell you what are the limits of this kind of uh, grouping. So let's start with this 20 to 29. Let's see how many in, in this range. 20 to 29. 1. And then we have. It is a difficult way. So let's write a frequency in this fashion. 95 in this frequency. 67 will be here, 28 will be here, 32 will be here, similarly 65 will be somewhere here, 65 again here, 69 in here, 33 here, 98 here, 96 here, 76 here 42 here 32 here 38 here 42 here 40 here 40 again here 69 so 5 5 can be bundled so 1 2 3 4 5 it is just for convenience 95 here 92, again 5 done. Here 75, 83, 75, 83, 76, 83, 85, 76, 83, 85, 62, 37, 65, 62, 37, 65, 62, 37, 65, 63. 42, 63, 42, 89, 65, 89, 65, 73, 81, 73, 81, 49, 52, 49, 52, 64, 76, 64, 76, 83, 92, 83, 92. So the list will continue. So list will be like this. If you complete the whole list, it will be something like this. If you just complete, you will see that this has a frequency 3, this will have 14, 12, and this will have 8, 18, 10, 23, 25. You can just do this maths. This is a frequency distribution. So instead of 3, I can just say 3 here. Here I'll say 12. I'll say here 8. This is 14. 14. This is 12. This is 8. 18, this is 10, this is 23, and this one is 12. So that will be my frequency, group frequency distribution divided because the score is group now. And please note, this is a non-overlapping scenario. And there's an issue with this. I'll tell you issue. Issue is, so let's suppose we have to add score of 29.5. Somebody gets 29.5. Where will I add? I can't even add here, I can't even add here. Okay, so we will see how can we overcome this. This was a non overlapping case and it has issues. For example, if I somebody get a score of 49.5, you can't even add in this, you can't even add in this particular class. So we will see one example for that. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.